What's up, Pandus? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I showed you my Park Easy parking sign, and I found this one too. It's a flashing LED auto parking sign for your garage. Help you park if you need help parking. Uh, you know, for me, I have a lot of stuff in my garage because I, you know, I'm a pack rat, and so not running into it is important. This one's from Emerson, and the reason I got this, I like my Park Easy one, but I wanted to get this one because, but, you know, I already have the other one, and I thought, why not check out the Emerson and see what the difference is? So here it is. This is everything it comes with. Comes with a little parking reflector. So far, this looks very similar or darn near the same as the Park Easy one. You know, reflector material looks like you've got this pull here for the battery. I think it just kind of pulls out just like that. You have reflectors on the front. Ooh, it's flashing already. Kind of looks like there's two LEDs built in. You can see it there's flashing. And my Park Easy one doesn't really flash all that often. My assumption is anytime it detects movement, it'll flash. Obviously, this one is continuing to flash. So, <laughs> this one may be really overly sensitive. Here is... An instruction book, which real men never use. Looks like here we have fiberglass pole sections, four of them, depending on the height you're trying to get this bad boy to. You also have three connectors, little tubular connectors to connect them to kind of like tent poles. And then basically what is a, a spring and a nut that fits into the base here so this thing can move around. And I think that goes in this end and this goes in there, if I'm right, if I recall correctly. And then you also have this thing, which looks like it's just kind of a base widener. So, fits on there. I'll probably use that. You have, oh, it looks like these little swing out extensions. This is different. Um, so, one of the differences here between this and the Park EZ, I will tell you, is that kind of the relying on a larger footprint to keep it in place. There are four little rubber feet here, not huge rubber feet by any means, but because this is kind of like a very light plastic with rubber feet and these little extensions, I think that's gonna keep it in place and balanced for the most part. I'd love for this to be heavier. You could certainly throw a you know, bag of kitty litter or something on top of it, I'm sure. But my other one I've noticed, it doesn't really have a lot of grippiness underneath, but it's heavier. Right, but doesn't have these extensions. So if you get the park easy, kind of just keep that in mind. This goes in here like that. And then you start adding these poles on here until you get to the last one and you put your pole right in here. Let's see, is this flashing again? Yeah, baby, it's flashing. So I may not even have to show you. I normally have to go set this up and then run my car into it to show you that it flashes. But one of the nice things about this is that with the four sections, even if you drive an SUV or something. Oh, there we go. Got a flashing again. Um, tall, like a minivan or a van or something like that. With these four sections, you get it high enough where it's over your hood and you can see it. I only need three of the sections because of the height of my car. And even that is more than enough. It's kind of like right in the center of my windshield. And if you have a really low sports car, like a Ford GT, maybe you only need two. I don't know. But you really just put this on here and then put it on the top and then put your last pole up there and you are good to go. So this is the one by Emerson. Parking, parking sign for your garage. So maybe, even if you're a good parker, maybe you need this. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't. I do. Peter Von Panda. Out.